right guys and welcome back to Final Fantasy X HD Remastered. The last episode we just barely made it on the SS Leaky, if that's how you want to say it. Um, I just jumped down to the safe sphere and we accidentally ran into Awaka, this snooty guy here. So the thing we were supposed to do first though was we were supposed to talk to Waka. So we're going to go back up these steps as you can see and we're going to go talk to him and see what he has to say. Because we saw the cutscene where he was looking at everybody with the goggles, either inappropriately or appropriately. So he's right here, so go ahead and chat with him. Come to think of it, I haven't told you where we're going. First to Kilika Island, then we change boats and head for Luca. For that though, Yuna's gotta pray at the temple. I'll be guarding. We'll be praying for the Aurochs victory too, so you come along, yeah? <sighs> great plan. Hey, it is a great plan. Don't look at me. <laughs> Seizure time. We'll be praying for the Aurochs victory too, so you come along, yeah? All right. I don't know who you are or where you came from. Okay, Lulu, thank you. We'll, we'll become good friends eventually, I promise. So anyway, we have a few items that we can catch down here. So we're just gonna run back down. Now this is where you would have encountered the cutscene with Owaka, but because I had to end the episode, we did it backwards, but that's okay. So if you grab this, it'll have a remedy. And then you can actually kick this multiple times to get a potion, but if you have 20 potions, you can't kick it anymore. I must have more than 20 potions though. Yeah, I have 22. So you can kick that and get up to 20 potions. Which is pretty neat. Um, let's leave here. And this this is those crusader guys. I'm not at liberty to talk about our plan. Restricted area. And we're going to go in this secret little room back here called the power room. And there's going to be an Alved primer hiding on the ground. So What the heck is that? What, what the heck is what? What is this place? The power room, like it says on the door. Yeah, but why the big birds? What's so strange about chocobo power? Chocobos? Those are chocobos? What? You've never seen a chocobo? What kind of backwater island did you come from, anyway? Hmm. <laughs> Ouch. Miracles and oddities were starting to become daily routine on this trip. All right, well, you can run over here, and there should be a hidden book. There it is. And L equals C. So now let's go back up, and we're actually going to run into some cutscenes, because we lack some cutscenes. Especially in this game, because all the cutscenes are so precious. At least I think so, anyway. Uh, I don't believe there's anything back here besides this lonely man. Huh? You want to use the binoculars? Cool. No way. Remember what you did last time? Aw. Got my darn hopes up for nothing, you meanie. Alright, let's go see what's over here. Word is, that summoner's got noble blood. I heard she's Lord Braska's daughter. You don't say. Lord Braska's daughter? Hmm. Alright. So, is Yuna's father famous or something? She's the daughter of High Summoner Braska. You saw his statue at the temple. Lord Braska defeated Sin ten years ago. Yuna's the heir to a great legacy. It's tough. <sighs> When your father's famous. Huh? Waka's a bit lacking in the imagination department. Huh? <laughs> Thanks, Lulu. I'll keep that in mind. She's really a jerk to him. You'll be surprised what happens later oh, yeah, on. Yet. Especially in the second game, if you've ever played that one.
the wind. It's nice. Mm. You're a Blitzball player, aren't you? From Xanarkin, right? Uh, you hear that from Waka? Mm-hmm. Huh. Waka. Waka doesn't believe me at all. <laughs> but I believe you. Huh? I've heard in Xanarkin, there is a great stadium, all lit up, even at night. Huh? Great Blitzball tournaments are held there, and the stands are always full. How do you know that? A man named Jack told me. He was my father's guardian. Jack. Jack. My father. His name is Jack. <gasps> Amazing! Hmm. You know, our meeting like this must be the blessing of Yevon. Sounds like him, but it can't be him. Why not? My old man, he died. Ten years ago, off the coast of Xanarkin. I I'm sorry. He went out to sea for training one day, and never came back. And no one's seen him since then. Why, that's the day that huh? Jekt came to Spira. But, uh... It's true, I first met Jekt ten years and three months ago. I remember that was the day my father left. The date fits, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, but how would he get here? You're here? Are you not? <laughs> Uh-oh, the controller is vibrating. That could not mean good things. Uh-oh, and it's HD graphics. This could mean even worse things. What's going to come, guys? You'll never guess! guessed it too. <laughs>
victory and the battle initiates. Yes, guys, it's the all-known Sin, and we're gonna battle his Sin Spoon, little Sin Scales. But yeah, this is him, and he's coming here to pretty much destroy us. So that's pretty great, huh? Now, the best strategy I figured out to do here is to attack the ones that we start to flick. Um, make sure you get everybody to attack so you can get that experience for all of your characters and nobody's left behind. Now, as you can tell, his wings started to flicker, so that's where we're going to switch. We have Titus. We want to get Waka out. And then we do want to get Lulu out here because Lulu is going to take the most damage. Because what we have to do um, is just attack Sin himself. Attack, attack his fin. So... Using Waka and Lulu, you can do that. And then Kamari can kill these dweebs. I'm surprised that boat can take it. Because you saw how big Sin was. He's gigantic. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. My bad. I should have just kept that one alive. Now, as you know, if, if Kamari does get low, you have Lancet. Lancet will suck um, this place is crawling. HP. The fin, that's where they're coming from. Fight at distance. Regular sword actions cannot hit targets at a distance, such as Sin's fin. Attack the enemies using magic or Waka's blitzball attack. So back to our black magic, and we're going to attack Sin. Uh, he doesn't really have a weakness. Any magic will do. And as I said, you just want to use Kamari for these little guys. Not really too bad. Um, Sin won't actually attack you, thankfully. I mean, the only way you die is if you really... I hate to be offensive, but sucked. Um, but yeah, you just have to attack this guy. Now, as it's really good to watch the top right um, over there. As you can see, how it has Lulu and then Kamari and then boss monster A, B, and C. That's the order that um, the attacks come, so just be aware of that so that you don't get killed, because that would suck. And of course, I always attack the ones with the flickering wings, because those are the ones that are going to attack. Sid makes it easy that way, because he obviously doesn't have a brain, and you know, this is little fin dudes. Goodness. Okay, we almost got him. As you can tell, he has 2,000 health. Um, he's not bad at all. And as long as you attack with your other two characters, Yuna and Titus, they will get some experience. So, nothing to worry about there. Now be wary. You want both Waka and Titus's health to be good before you uh, kill Sin. Because there's another battle that's going to come right back to back with Sin. Um, because Sin will get pissed and knock the boat down. We don't like that. And you yeah, can also do another strategy where you just, out of the three of his little spine guys, just keep one of them alive while you attack. No special moves gonna work on him, like using a darkness attack with Waka, because, as again I said, it's not gonna attack you. So. Let's see if we can take 68 with Lancet. To 80! Kill him with fire! Lulu is always just so darn nonchalant. 
Sometimes it pisses me off. She's lucky she's got boobs like that. Goodness. Pulls it right out of his crutch. Got a magical crutch. Wait a second. If a phoenix down can bring him back to life, why don't they just do that whenever sin attacks? Use a phoenix down. And then bring all the pupils back. And then it's not such a big deal. That doesn't make sense. Why did I just think of this? This is terrible. So only we can only we can survive? I guess so. Anyway, here we are against Sin Spawned uh I I don't know how to say his name. It's like Ichi. Achilles? Achilles, I think. I don't really know how to say that, to be honest. Um, your best bet here is to use a dark attack to um, darken him, meaning his attacks are going to miss you. You can tell he's darkened by the smoke that's playing around on his face. Um, you can also attack his little sin scale spines. They will attack you, but I'm just going to focus here on him. He does have 2,000 HP, just like Sin, so be aware of that. Um, just be careful that to watch your health so you don't die. Um, it'd be kind of sad to die this early in the game. Now, when he does attack, the attacks are pretty decently strong, I'd have to say. But as long as you smack him with the darkness and cheer to higher your attack, you should be all set. So, and hopefully he attacks Waka more often than Titus because Waka needs to get his overdrive up. Now, his is a strong move that's really not going to miss. I wouldn't worry too much, even if the health goes yellow. Anything below, like, maybe 150, though, I would start healing yourself. So we're gonna use potion here on Titus. Titus? Tutus? You know, personally, I, a lot of people hate cutscenes, but I really enjoy them a lot. I mean, I can watch them over and over for some reason. Maybe it's because I'm a girl. Hey, how can you take my health like that, fool? We need darkness to attack him again. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I, I personally do like cutscenes a lot. I just, I like when a game has a storyline. Unlike Harvest Moon, though. Harvest Moon's an exception because they don't have any cutscenes, really. But, games like these, I really enjoy the cutscenes. It kind of keeps me going. Something to look forward to when the next cutscene's gonna play and when I'm gonna learn more about the storyline. It's kind of when you read a book. You just want to get to each chapter to, you know, learn more about the story, and obviously that's the point of reading a book. Please don't die, Waka! Well, so we're gonna use an attack, and hopefully he's almost dead. But he's probably not, and I don't have a scan to tell. Because we only have Waka and Titus down here. Uh, I don't think Yuna can even swim, but... I don't know if I should risk another attack, or... Might as well. It's gonna hurt. Right? Besides our death, our death will hurt. Don't kill me. Dead, yes. Jellyfish, I don't like you. For some reason he's exploding, but that's besides the point. Oh, he's jumping to freaking dimensions. Ooh, AP for everyone. And that is why you make sure everybody everybody needs to be at whenever you battle a boss. Because you want to share all that H AP with every character, you'll fall behind. Anyway, here we got power, mana, and ability spheres, an ice brand, which is Titus' sword and a blue arm guard.
can hear my remote. It's just gone wild. When Sin attacked Xanarkin that day, I woke up in Spira. I kept hoping it would work in reverse, too. I will defeat Sin. I must defeat Sin. I was just fooling myself. Maybe it was that day, on the sea, under the burning sun. I started to give up hope. I was in a foreign world. I wasn't going home. This was my new reality, and I was stuck in it for good. Summoner Yuna. I have come from the temple in Besaid. Oh, Milady Summoner! If there is no other summoner here, please allow me to perform the sending. Ah, thanks, BT. Our loved ones. We feared they would become fiends. Please, take me to them. We'll go see what we can do to help in town. Huh? I just have a little feedback on that scene. As incredibly sad and heartbreaking it is to see something like that, especially, I mean, even in a game, they sure did make it look darn pretty, you know that? <laughs> No, it, it really is sad, though. I mean, this is the monster that they're running from, that they're trying to defeat. He just comes and annihilates everything. Family, friends, homes, villages. And that's what this whole game's about, is finding him, or, well, helping Yuna become the Grand Summoner and destroying him. And it gets much deeper as, than that as the story goes on. Um, but we're going to be ending this episode here, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next episode.